Hey guys, in this lesson, we take a look at how to apply highlights to a character's face to enhance the shading effect. Last week, we took a look at how to add secondary shadows to your character. The week before that, we looked at how to create a basic shading effect for the character's face. And now we are going to apply some highlights. So if you have yet to see those previous videos, you can check them out by clicking on the annotations on the video. We also have a playlist dedicated to it as well. And watching those isn't required, but I think it will help you a great deal when it comes to creating volume for your character's face or for any part of their body as you add shadows and shading. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, so with our character open, what we're going to do here now is make a new vector layer like we did with the shading layers, and we will name this one Face Highlights, or HLS, if you'd like to abbreviate it. So now, like before, we'll be taking the Shape tool here, coming in here with our oval and just drawing an oval on the nose and removing the stroke. Now, we will go in here to the Style Palette and we're going to choose a white color for the highlight. Now it looks like it's a little bit too light. So we can go into the color and we can adjust the opacity so that it's more solid. You can see there we have something that's looking a little bit better. We can also adjust the blur radius as well since we have a soft effect already in place. And we can see now that a little highlight on his nose is present and that is what we want. So what we'll be doing here now is trying to figure out kind of where we want the other highlights. So we can start right here since the light source is coming more from this direction. Make a shape like that and create a shape. We will remove the stroke and we can of course use the same colors as we did with the other highlights. So everything should be good to go there with the white and transparencies. And from here it's all a matter of adjusting your points with the curvature tool or adding points to get the right shape. Now you can take the add point tool again here and we can come down here kind of more towards the cheek or below the eye again on the side of the face where the light is being hit most and we can create a shape remove that stroke and we can then do as we did before. It's all a matter of just adjusting your points with the curvature tool and with your translate point tool. So we'll just get those points to where we want them. And this is by no means a realistic representation either. And I think I've made that clear over the course of this mini series that we're doing. You know, it's a cartoon shading effect. So we have to exaggerate some things here in terms of how the light will work or how the shading is going to affect the character. We can add one below the mouth here. We can just make a little oval with the Create Shape tool. We can, can bring it in like this and just adjust the points slightly. Again, making sure you're using the eyedropper tool or selecting the style settings from the other highlights to make sure everything is good there. So you have now some highlights on the face and it's looking good. Again, you can always control R to render this out. Let's try adding some to the pupils. So we can click on the pupils layer and we're basically going to create a little oval and we can come over here to the style palette and we will make it white and we'll bring the opacity all the way up so that it's completely solid and we can bring the oval in, making sure that the stroke is turned off. And we'll just come in here. We can shrink it. Of course, it has to be smaller than the pupil. And then just bring it up like so. And you can always adjust the positioning if you need to. But we can just copy that with Control C, paste it with Control V if you're on a PC. And you can then move it over to the second eye just to kind of get those highlights in like that. So now, if we render it out, you can see things are looking good. So what you can also do here is turn the soft edge off because for this, you'll probably not want that soft edge. And 
there we go that is looking a lot better so as you can see we can definitely do a lot with just some simple shapes to create these highlights and again a lot of this is very similar we started with the shading we did the secondary shadows and now we're doing the highlights and the process is similar in how you would use the shapes and the drawing tools with anime studio but anyway that wraps up this video again if you have yet to see the other two be sure to check those out. Again, I have annotations here for them if you want to check them out. My name is Chad Trofgerbin. I provided the narration for this tutorial. Jim Mills recorded it, and this is his character from Buddies, the hit series that is taking over the world. So be sure to check it out. If you would like more tutorials, be sure to subscribe to the Incredible Tutorials channel. We are also on Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll have another shading tutorial next week.